Boys, did you see the giant fire that lit up in the ocean? I did. The sea is on fire. It's up in yeah. flames, and we're all going to die. Welcome to Chuckle doesn't Sandwich. Usually, doesn't usually happen. Cthulhu no. rises from the ocean gloriously as he reclaims the land he once lost. See, we make jokes about it, right? Like that. We're like, oh, here go Satan's tendrils again. But like, we are so, so screwed, guys. What do you think really is down there? I think all the I think all the plastic straws are down there. They lit that fire. Yeah, all of the all uh, the plastic straws we we threw into the ocean. All the bottles we forgot to recycle. You think the sea turtles have become arsonists uh, down there? I think all of the <laughs> sea turtles that I think that's just all the sea turtles with the fucking straws through their noses unionizing all at once. And they're, they're just all spinning really fast under the other, ocean, yeah. creating enough friction that it's there's a fucking fire down there now. Right? That's awesome. right? Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> we solved God. it, man. Yeah. We figured it out. Um, uh, I thought it was something crazy like global warming, but now that it's just the turtles, it was just keep putting straws in there and we, it should figure itself out. I will kill every single fucking turtle before I drink out of a paper straw. No matter I've how said many, that before no and I'll say it again. I will kill, it I will strangle every single turtle, even that fuck from Finding Nemo that they all swam on. No, you want it. Strangle. Strangle. Welcome to Chuckle Sandwich. Are you really that? Are you, are you really that antagonistic towards paper straws? Is it I hate dissolve? paper straws. Yes, I hate paper straws, dude. Just drink, I had you never, faster. you can't drink tell faster. me. You can't tell me when you see a paper straw and you drink, you're like, oh, this is a great day, and I'm a happy man. <laughs> no, I gotta. I gotta you're admit, not, you're not. Charlie, paper straws suck ass. There's we all know stuff. this. I'm throwing myself in with uh, the Schlack camp what here. What the fuck is wrong with my tongue? Your tongue is fucking blue. Oh! What did you Jesus, drink? Jesus, man. It's all the plastic in the ocean. <laughs> what did you drink this morning? <laughs> that's just, you... Wait, that's just regular water. Did you have a... I've been drinking... Okay. Raspberry I've been drinking cool Powerade. Oh. I've been drinking a lot of Powerade recently because I'm under the weather. I had a great LA trip, but I think I contracted some kind of virus um, there. Oh, God no. forbid. Let's say a prayer. It is not the Delta Strand because that is a killer and I will never be flying Delta again. Not that I would have, you know. Yeah. Not that this Delta strain fix anything. I mean, I'm a jet blue sworn sworn jet bluer uh, till the day I die, you know? Indeed. But back on paper straws, I mean, <laughs> what the hell? Why do you why are you accepting this in your life? Why are you letting our uh, the elites of society tell you you have to fucking sip through pulpy plastic paper straws? It is kind that, of that literally disintegrate the more you drink out of them. They disintegrate and you start drinking paper. You start drinking paper, bro. I agree. I was with, uh, I, I went to this, hundred or JHB, he invited me to this 100 Thieves event that found they were launching their foundation's clothing line or whatever yeah. that is. Um, and I went to their- They better be paying us I for went, this episode. Jeez. I went to their little event um, and they had this, a bunch of bars set up and they all had like these- drinks that were like foundations red foundations white like they were all Ooh. just like specific themed drinks and then we got them and they were in paper straws and then one of the things about paper straws is that after a certain point you can't even like drink through it it's like no you can't the purpose is lost maybe after like the first three sips and then you're just you're it just closes up and then it's like why did i even have this in the first place Seems like a mouth Charlie's problem. about to. I can see this look on this fucker's <laughs> face. He's about to defend paper straws. He is about to defend would paper it, straws. Okay, to be fair, would it, would, would it really be a podcast if I just said, yeah, Ted and Schlatter, That's true. right? Right? That's true. So here That's true. I go, guys. Uh, here I go. Take a big sip of this one. I think it sounds like <laughs> it sounds like a mouth. It sounds like a mouth problem, guys. It sounds like a mouth problem. Sounds like you guys just aren't generating enough vacuum fast enough, you know? And you're you trying know, to tell us that we don't have strong <laughs> enough vacuum. And listen, I'll tell you what, Charlie. Listen, I've got listen, a really strong you mean, vacuum. In my the mouth. proof's in the pulp, bro. All right. If you're just sucking up paper, I don't know what to tell you, dude. If you're if you're just if you're just making a sort of paper mache blend in your drink, you're not going quick enough. And you know what? 
the the earth's running out of time, man. And and what? Now your straws are, and now you feel it. Now you feel the consequences. This is bullshit. Of your actions this is bullshit. So phone. now, bullshit. so now you're telling part. me I can't you're even part. save her. You're telling me I can't even savor my drinks anymore. I have, to, I have really to suck them up with the force savor of a fucking Dyson straw. Airblade. No, go fuck straw. yourself, bro. Get orange you're letting Bill Get Gates, juice. you're letting no Bill pulp. Gates, no Amazon, pulp. Jeff Bezos, straw. Bam. you're letting that, you're letting that Tim Apple up. fuck get, tell get, you get right that you have to drink through paper straws. Meanwhile, they're lighting fires in the middle of the fucking ocean. Right off the teat of Mother Nature. God damn it. I've brother, never, this, this, brother, it would not be a brother. broadcast if you guys didn't talk Shut at the, the fuck same up, time Ted. for a minute. Sh straight. I need to, I need to have a heart to heart with this man right now, brother. Because I'm sick you are, of buying a hundred, a hundred cards. You are telling me it and just eating it one by one by one. I'm so sick of reaching into my printer and grabbing a fucking snack. Thank God, paper straws were invented. He's opened up his burger rings, Charlie. You should be worried right now. He's opened up his burger what rings. Is it, well, what's going to possibly be in there that could help his point? It is he, I've never even the seen burger, burger. Ah! The taste of burger. The taste of burger. Look at that. him. Look at that. Look at that. He's cramping <sighs> now. Because the sea turtles spiked For our his, audio his listeners, aquafina. love you to death. Schlatt just opened up a bag of uh, a snack called burger rings. And uh, I've never even oh. seen this snack before, burger rings. Um, I assume that it, it is a snack that holds the taste of a burger and rings. Brother, you are telling me <laughs> that you are going to let Jeff Bezos oh, tell you. No. You're going to let, oh, you're gonna let Mark, you're going to let Mark fucking Zuckerberg tell you that you, Warren Buffett, telling you, that you have to drink through a paper straw for the rest of your life. You think Meanwhile, that you, you think that and, oh, and Rockefeller to, knows to, best, Charlie? And it's to save the environment. Meanwhile, they are, brother, they are lighting fires in the ocean. I know, I know, I know. So they are lighting Charlie, fires you're going to be a cuck they are for lighting J.D. Fires in the Rockefeller? Ocean. And you have to recycle? No, listen, listen, listen. You have to recycle? What are you talking about? That sounds like you're pretty Jeffrey, not very woke Jeffrey, at all, Jeffrey Charles. Jeffrey Bezos, Jeffrey Bezos, Jeff bless his heart. The, Congratulations, the is, Jeff. <laughs> great job, Jeff. First of all, just want to say we're all so proud of you here at Chuckle Sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> we're so proud of you. You made a penis thing, right? rocket and you're I'm going not. to space, Jeff. I am. I, what I am doing right now is I am defending them as a concept because I believe if 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 straws didn't exist, that maybe they could be part of a solution. Right now, do they stand to do anything? Absolutely not. Right? <laughs> Carbon footprint is a lie. But maybe, just maybe, if Jeffrey Bezos listens to this and he says, "Oh, you're right. It could just be like an added fun textural thing," and they all stop making plastic straws, maybe, uh, maybe Cthulhu will stop reaching his fiery hands out of the depths of the fucking Pacific. Well, I don't I'm, know. Well, hold on, guys. I mean, speaking of Jeffrey Bezos, our 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 Lord and Savior, our, our loving boy, <laughs> so proud of him. Have you seen his penis rocket? Excuse me? His penis oh. rocket. The rocket that he plans to go on space uh, in space with, just threw it in podcast chat. He's, uh, it's very phallic. It looks like a fucking penis. It looks like a yeah. shaft with a head, and it's going to space. Oh, oh shit. I, the sense of humor on this guy. No, no. He, I, I just, just he's just so lovable. Just goes to show it's you. so hard to hate him. Do you know what it's that so says to, to me? Him. Jeff is such a fucking rich bitch that he made. A big dick rocket just to show how much he can flex his big dick rocket going to space with his brother. Oh, that's nice of him. And that's why we're so Charlie. proud of Jeffrey okay. Jeffrey Bezos. Hey, wait, hey, Jeffrey. Hey, Jeff, and I know you're listening. Where are the balls? Huh, Jeffrey Jeff? Bezos is too the good, number one too listener. Too good for balls? <laughs> Not rich enough? Do I need to go? How, how many things do uh, I need to put in my Amazon cart before you can put balls on your rocket, Jeff? Nah, bro. <laughs> Jeff doesn't have any balls left. They shrunk. J did you guys see? Did you guys see the before and after pictures of this fuck? Like when he back when Amazon was a what, was you mean a bef before and after humanity. <laughs> 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 back before, back before the piss bottles, back before the 150 percent turnover rate of all the employees in the Amazon warehouse. Did he have like this was guy was a scrawny little fuck who sold books, yeah. book, 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 book. He sold books, he right? Still do, but now he sells everything, right? Yeah. Now he innovates, 
And now he's fucking jacked. That guy, that dude is on steroids or something. Is, you I seen just, that photo of him with the with the fucking Christ. with the fucking vest and his muscles around I'm and he's wearing at aviators? It right now. Why does he look so scared? He looks like the fucking bad guy in Spider-Man Homecoming. Why does he look like that? Yes. He looks like a bad guy. He became a bad guy. He's guys, literally this is wrong. Why Lex does Luther. Jeffrey Bezos look like a bad guy, guys? <laughs> you he's, know something. He's so good. Because he, <laughs> he has so much money. So I do- <laughs> he's the conservative champion, baby. <laughs> Um, yeah, oh, no, he God. definitely looks like a villain. And you know that there's an issue there when the richest man in the world looks like a villain. I mean, was he always bald like that? Or did he have, did he, I feel like he every one balding. of those current billionaires had that moment in the fucking 90s when they had, like, they were still holding on to their hair and they either got some sort of, like, for instance, Elon Musk. You can see pictures of him when he was, when oh, he was yeah. way younger and he had a huge fucking bald spot. You know what they say, baby? Uh, Hairs are shit. He did something. He, he's got a toupee now or something? Or he, he, did... he No, he fucking shot hair DNA in there. <laughs> oh, really? That's that's one of the companies he's working on, bro. He hair, shot fucking hair, hair in there. DNA. <laughs> into his, he shot it into his arm? You're like pretending yeah, bro. he's doing fucking yeah, heroin. Bro. Like he wrapped he, up his arm. Fucking, and he, heroin. He, exactly. There it is, baby. <laughs> Only on the chuckle sandwich. Give me the hair, bro. Give me the hair. And then it just. Yo, we're just, shooting just, hair on chuckle sandwich. Up. A new strand. Yep. Can you imagine if you sh- if you shot, you did some hair DNA, you shot some hair DNA, and it's like you've got your normal hair on certain spots, and then the filling is just like a different color entirely. It's like blonde <laughs> hair or ginger hair starts going out, and you're like, ah. It's like, fuck, I put the wrong color yeah, in. I got the wrong like, color sh- hair shedding, DNA. shedding like dog mat. <laughs> <in the middle. laughs> um, but Schlatt, you've, uh, it's been, I mean... It, we, I, so, I suppose we can't just sort of continue this podcast as if nothing's happened. I mean, it's been a while since we've been able to put a podcast together, and I'd like to take the moment to completely blame all of that on Schlatt and his fucked it's up me. life. It's um, me. Yeah. Schlatt, you want to uh, sort of explain and maybe teary-eyed yeah. what's going on I'll to our audience? I'll talk about this. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. I really like the direction you're going. Now, 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 just kind of juice it a little bit more, and I think you'll get a really good empathetic, empathetic uh, reaction from our audience parasocially. I think this will work really well. All right, scene. If I had a dog, I'd have him right now. Yeah, and, yeah, and you look at him and say, be really tough "How am video. I gonna say this? How am I gonna do this, boy?" You're, oh, come on, Fido. How am I going to do this? How am I going to talk about this? Charlie, so guys, you, look, you look so concerned right now. I'm inv- I, Listen, I know he's sorry. That's, I can see it. I can see it in I, his eyes. I just, <laughs> so, guys. But before you start, I just want to say I forgive you, man. And I'll always be a big fan. And I'm, I'm here for you. All right. So, you so guys, I found this new site. <laughs> Called CSGolato.com. You can you can gamble skins on it. It's this great new site that I just found. I'm oh, not a co-owner man. or anything. Hold on. My DoorDash, my DoorDash person just said they don't have chocolate birthday. Goddamn. In addition to that, um, I remember that you also mentioned that you're uh you're so sorry for pumping and dumping a X coin. A yeah. cryptocurrency that I, nobody knows I about. Pumped, I pumped and dumped a, a shit coin that was about saving children. And in reality, all I did was save my bank account um, and no one else's. So I'm really sorry about that. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, I'm going to tell you what I've been up to the past week or two or three. I'm homeless. Dun, 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 dun. He's homeless. I had to move out of my house. Because the landlord sold it without doing any tours. Um, he forgot to look at the house to see the state that Ms. Kiff, my, uh, my landlord, had left it in. So the homeowner sold it to this family. And I think there's a lawsuit involved now. Oh, um, because of the absolute state that the house was in when the owners who paid a pretty penny for the house walked in and saw what was going on. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a there's there's some legal action going on, uh, but yeah, I had to get out. That's of there. a new piece of information yeah, I've never I didn't heard know before. This. This <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He was there was 
Hey, not my problem. Not my problem. Hey. I was never on the lease. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, you know, uh, his, his so I had to get out of there. They're still in the walls. You hear them scratching every night. I, <laughs> <laughs> I jumped ship. And what do I do now? My life is falling apart. I have not found a new place to live. I'm living in an office, as you can see. This is a fucking office. Jambo's picking up odd jobs. I, I, I put Jambo in a, in a home. Don't say that. People are going to freak out. <laughs> I have Jambo. Jambo's, Jambo's <laughs> taken care of. Don't it's worry about this. Actually, he said Jambo's home, got he shit to do. He put Jambo, be in, like, a I put Jambo like... in a hole. I dug a hole, and uh, Jambo lives in there for I... Hey, folks, it's ad time. Here we're going to read some ads from our beautiful sponsors. Hey, you chiseled chucklers. Summer's coming. Are you ready to unveil your beach bod? Well, you're in luck. Our friends at Manscaped just launched their fourth generation performance package, which includes the Lawnmower 4.0. You heard that right. The 4.0 is in this one. Compliment your summer bod with a trim from the leaders in male grooming. The sun is shining and calling your name, fellas. Join the two million men worldwide who trust Manscaped and get ready for hot guy summer by going to manscaped.com for 20% off plus free shipping with the code <laughs> chuckle20 inside of this performance package 4.0 you've got the lawnmower 4.0 trimmer you got the weed whacker ear and nose hair trimmer you got the crop preserver ball deodorant which Schlatt is a big fan he's of a if he's big here he fan would be, of that he's a really big fan of it uh, we got the crop provider toner performance boxer briefs and travel bag to hold your goodies Guess what? This fourth generation trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. The Lawnmower 4.0 has a 7,000 RPM motor, a new multifunction on off switch that can engage a travel lock, and it gives you the ability to turn the 4,000 Kelvin LED spotlight on and off when needed for a more precise shave. Did we also mention that this trimmer is waterproof too? Did we mention that, Charlie? You, you, you didn't, and I'm dying to know more. Well, in the shower or in the wild, perhaps the woods. <laughs> yeah, down there it is, <laughs> right, man? And from your chest pubes all the way down to your ball fro, uh, the lawnmower 4.0 is best trimmer for you. I mean, come on. Man Manscaped was even kind enough to throw in two free gifts in their performance package 4.0, the Manscaped boxers and shed travel bag. Bring your comfort in boxers to another level, okay? Like, like we said, Schlatt absolutely loves Manscaped's liquid formulations. Before heading outside, use Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant to keep you on your game in the heat. Then, after trimming the lawn and whacking the weeds in the heat, give those beach balls a boost using the Crop Reviver. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code CHUCKLE20 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code CHUCKLE20 at manscaped.com stay on the balls with manscaped you know charlie i got a big passion for uh for doing big aerobic yeah well yoga. i got a big package and i know there's only one way to take care of it and that's with ship station we all have passions that push us to do big things in life like selling your crafts online all out of a deep burning love for logistics and order management. Just kidding. Nobody likes that part. And that's why, oh baby, that's why they're ShipStation. They make it easy to manage your orders and get your products out the door so you can get back to doing what you really love. Growing your gosh darn business, you little, you, you little rascal. ShipStation is the number one choice of online sellers. You can import orders from any sales channel, ship with any carrier using ShipStation's deeply discounted rates, and automate just about any shipping task. It's no wonder over 100,000 online no sellers. It's no wonder. It's just it's no, no wonder. wonder. It's simple, it really. It's easy. It's just, and it's a fucking no-brainer why over 100,000 online sellers choose ShipStation. No matter what you sell, Shopify, Etsy, your own website, for, for gosh darn sake, ShipStation funnels all of your orders into one simple interface that you can manage from anywhere, even your cell phone. Not just that, you'll even get amazing discounts with major carriers, including UPS, FedEx, and USPS. Easily compare those carriers and choose the best solution every time. 
ship more in less time for a lot less money. Just use our offer code CHUCKLE to get a 60-day free trial that's two months free of no-hassle, stress-free shipping. And don't ship yourself just yet. Just go to ShipStation.com, click on that microphone at the top of the page, and type in CHUCKLE. That's ShipStation.com. Enter offer code CHUCKLE. Make ship happen. I'd like a um, Photoshop from someone of like of Jambo sitting on one of those high rise, like that old New York photo of of like those blue collar workers sitting on the high rise uh, of the <laughs> steel will beams. I want to do that real Jambo quick. Jambo with a fucking construction add on and a, lo a little lunchbox. Every Jambo pick I post, there's like three or four Photoshoppers that are just real quick with I, it. I, so I love any those. of you guys, that's those a challenge. That's a challenge, man. Light top hat. Wheat, wheat skins, any of you guys, get on it. Get wheat on skins, it. wheat skins actually did. Uh, he did the video when I did that video with you, the uh, the cereal one. I, when I talked about the cereal battle battle of eighteen thirty five, wheat skins did that little Photoshop thing. I asked for it on Twitter, and he replied Ooh. with that. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it was basically free labor. I I, uh, I I felt really good about it. Thanks, wheat skins, <laughs> if you're here. Oh, Schlatt's crying again. Oh. Nope. It's what just happened? so hard. It's so hard for me. I'm, I feel like I'm in the middle of nowhere. I feel like I'm in the twilight zone. Is this, where am I? You are. Where am I? You look like, you look like you're in the place where streamers go if they go to like hell. Just like an empty streaming room <laughs> with a bunch room. of, like, just like sort of a, like a empty land room. <laughs> Where nothing's going on there, and I have nothing. You think a streamer? I have nothing anymore. You think a streamer dies, but nothing happens? <laughs> You're just like in the same place. I, <laughs> you go to limbo. I mean, I'm, I I I started a welding business. I fix any crack now. Even I started a welding cracks. business. I I've, I'm eating fucking burger rings. What the fuck are burger rings? Where did you even find that? that Where? Are, what are these? That looks like an what is it? What is the chip called burger rings? That looks like an alternate universe, like <laughs> chip. Like that seems like what? something that you you you'd phase into like Earth Two, and then you'd walk <laughs> into a Walmart. And <laughs> why, do you, why do you why do you make that sound every time? <laughs> you eat a burger ring. It seems oh. like it's shooting you every time it enters your mm -hmm. mouth. Oh. They taste like burgers. It's pretty. It's pretty okay, good. Well, yeah, then why okay. are you reacting in that way? Do you not <laughs> want it to you... taste like burger? You seem so shocked every time. Look at this. Look at this. This is what's really going to surprise you. Wait till I take my super mega hat off. What the fuck? What is that? Oh my you're, god! You're, you've what is, what is this? What is this bullshit? Sort of like I'm tying listener. my hair now. Sort of like a nest almost. Well, hold on. Let me do my audio listener description for yeah. our audio listeners. Love you to death. Schlatt's got a fucking man bun now, um, which is something that I could almost guarantee you that at some point in his life, if he hadn't chose to just not have any form of hygiene, he'd probably be making a video about how ridiculous man buns are. He'd make a commentary video talking about. What are all these guys making man buns? Uh, they're walking what are all around. What these liberals doing? <laughs> what do you think? What do you think long hair's for? It's for women. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So uh, this is sort of. I'm an eating burger rings. Yeah. This is an interesting change of events. For sure, on the chuckle sandwich timeline. I mean, a ring God, is yeah, kind of I mean, just like a chode straw, right? What? It's like, I mean, it's just like a sort of... Why? Like a, a, I, okay, yeah, like a circle that... What? A chode straw. <laughs> it's, that didn't that didn't enhance or help the description of it. And either of those words that you added didn't yeah, just, enhance or help it. Bring it. I kind of wanted to bring it just back around to the whole straw thing. And I just, Why I was, would you say that as I'm eating <laughs> burger rings? <laughs> what you, the fuck you is called, your problem? You it's called his snack. Burger. You gave his snack... The word chode <laughs> yeah, no, in his no, mind. You, can, no, you made it sound can, like Schlatt is eating a bag of chodes, and, and you think that he's going to let that just, kind of just roll on by? Based on the based on the volume and the, and the general distribution of the object, I just made an observation as it was going into your mouth. That, you, you don't know, sound you too confident, sort of Charlie. Straw, and I just pictured a sort of straw, sort of compressing down, and I thought to myself, "Well, that's just a ring," and there it. You're awful, man. Charlie. Have <laughs> you no came shame? Right up. Do you have no shame? And then it sort of came up, so. Oh, oh God. You know? oh. But you can kind of, I can, you know, you can see it though, right? You can see Here's it. this shit. It gets even worse. I've, I've been massaging myself with a fucking knockoff Theragun, 
24 Oh, what is this? A tattoo? Whoa. Twilight Sparkle? <laughs> My that, little pony? Where the hell did that come from? And for and for the audio listeners, which <laughs> I love you to death. Schlatt does have a Twilight Sparkle tattoo. He does have a <laughs> on his arm. And he's for the la Fuck. the last of his money went. Yeah, Time. he's. I guess he's got a Theragun. Is can you explain what a Theragun is to people who don't understand that? Theragun is a gun that goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Burger ring time. <laughs> he's sort of losing his mind. Um, oh God! God! Why does it? Is it's, it's, it's it, it, doing it, that it's to me? It's like him. everything he does hurts him. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> It's, it tastes so much like burgers, dude. I know, I man. But that should be them. okay. <laughs> I can't stop it. <laughs> it's like he's. They be tasting like burgers. It's hard to it's, watch. Really it's like he's watch. a Pokemon where every one of his attacks does equal or double damage on himself. <laughs> dude, we're all influencers. One of our four moves is self destruct. <laughs> wow. What is this? True that. What is this? What is Twisties? Twisties? Where, did where you what is Twisties from? cheeseburger flavor? What the? What is Twisty's cheeseburger? None of these that, where are, are you getting these from? I think you are actually where am in a I? Where am I living? You're where do I live? You're literally in a fucking <laughs> alternate know. fucking ancient dimension. What is this? What is shapes? What the fuck are these things in here? Triple what is us? shapes? Toasty? Triple triple cheese toasty. What? Are triple you? cheese toasty. Where are these coming from? What the from? fuck is that? Oh, where wait. am I? Hold on. You have a little bit of an accent there. Are these British snacks that you're showing us right now? No. Nah, Chips is nah. Australian. Chips <laughs> are they Australian? Australian? I guess toasty seems like definitely an Australian snack. Shape? There Barbecue they shapes. There they are. Barbecue shapes. Yep. Every shape is a different flavor, and every flavor is a different shape. Every flavor is a different shape. Each new shape. Packed full of flavor. Every day, yes, yes, I sir. eat my shapes. Kangaroo. Kangaroo. <laughs> 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 I'm kind of fucked up. I'm be, I've been so busy with this move and being homeless and just everything that's going on. I went to LA for a bit. Uh, we're going again. Which leads us into a very, oh, very... Uh, our Daily Double. The Daily Double. A very we're fun announcement doing. for our Chuckle Sandwich listeners. Um, this time next week, ladies and gentlemen, and by the time that this podcast is out, we, uh, Schlatt, Charlie, and I will all be in Los Angeles because we are doing... Drum roll. Do it in your head. <laughs> Chuckle Week, baby! <laughs> We're doing Chuckle Week. What is Chuckle Week, Schlatt? You may, uh, they, I think they're asking. Why don't you give them an explanation of what Chuckle Week is? So Chuckle Week is this great big plan of fun and sex. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> fun <laughs> and sex. <laughs> Wait, was it the, the last one that you kind of threw on? Basically, you? I'm horny. Okay. I shouldn't have passed this off to you. Schlatt, Schlatt, I'm 99% sure you're talking about Fuckle Week, which we're doing afterwards. Oh, fu oh that's Fuckle Week. We're not talking about Fuckle Week. We are not talking we're about talking Fuckle Week right now. We're talking we keep, about Chuckle Week keep, right now. We keep Fuckle Week off all records, okay? Fuckle, Ch Schlatt, Fuckle Week is Chuckle our week. wind down week after Chuckle right, Week. Right. Come on, man. Oh, I get it. Pull get it together. It. Do not even get me I'm started sorry. on Chuckle Week. Okay, I won't make that, I won't make so mistake Chuckle Week, week is basically one week where Charlie and Schlatt make their way over to smoggy Los Angeles. And have um, a lot of sex. They step off the, shut up, Charlie. <laughs> oh, they step are we talking off, about, are we talking I'm going to kill you. <laughs> they step off the plane. They breathe in that smoggy air. And we are getting, we're, we're, we're getting like a studio and we're, we're, we're basically um, recording a bunch of podcasts in person with some of your favorite content creators. We got a lot of fantastic lineup of guests, and we're we're I think we're recording we're recording a, probably at least ten podcasts. So pretty much from now on, ap after this podcast, it'll be like every 
other week will be a episode from Chuckle Week that'll have a, a new fun guest in this studio. I think it'll add a fun new flavor to the podcast. Okay. Okay. It's going to be pretty glorious. We still haven't figured out how to run a podcast, but we're getting Guys, the studio. The, the <laughs> and, sandwich uh, after this week is going to be a fucking hoagie, boys. We've, oh, we've, we've even God. got sort of like a, I mean, I won't spoil too much of the surprise, but we got some lunch themes going on and where mm, we're going to be recording. Mm. That's the part I'm most excited about. Yeah, it should be very, very fun. Yeah. Uh, in addition to that, you may be some be, and I'm going to say this in the most general terms. We're going to score little... different condiments on the guests based on how much we like their answers. <laughs> indeed, indeed. We're <laughs> also going to, we're also in developing a little bit of something that maybe you could wear, but that's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Just Is it made of meat? Let Is that it made muddle. of cheese? You'll have to find out. Let that muddle in your little brain there. All right, kiddos? Think about it. Um... But yeah, no, it's super, super excited for Chuckle Week. Um, it's kind of a funny name because it's like we just kind of started saying it and didn't really even consider the consequences of calling it Chuckle Week. Why don't we call it Sandwich Week? I mean, san what is san Sandwich Week just sounds like, I don't know, a food trip you're making yeah. like with your friends. That just sounds like we lost our jobs and are now working at Subway. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, I would speak speak for <laughs> one sounds, of us, huh? That sounds like a, yeah, yeah, there you go, Schlatt. <laughs> um but yeah, I mean chuckle I, uh, chuckle week is is I'm hoping. I mean, it, depending on how it goes, I mean it's it's something that I hope that we can do, you know, maybe like twice a year or something like that or whenever we can really figure out how to do it and be like a fun little thing in between the times <laughs> To, uh, uh, I just, I, sorry, I got a text from my DoorDash. Uh, hello, I am Maria. I am here. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty ominous. That's. I, I hope that she just like fucking breaks down your door and she's like, "Hello, my name is Maria." <laughs> I am you here. Text, your, your food has arrived, but it's just her face. Like, really <laughs> <laughs> what's the weirdest? What's the weirdest text you could get from a DoorDash? Well, have you I ever, feel like it'd be like, it, I, honestly, here's here's what I think. All right, do you see that very that late thing at that night? Connor tweeted? You're like, hmm? do you see that thing that Connor tweeted from the DoorDash where it was like he didn't order DoorDash and they were like, "Hi, this is DoorDash. Uh, can you please cancel your order?" And then it was, and he was like, "What? <laughs> he didn't or, they DoorDash him, him themselves? Yeah, something like that. I don't mm. know. I saw it on his uh, his alt his alt Twitter. That's pretty intimidating. I'd yeah. be like." Something's awry here. Somebody knows Something's where I live, strange. and they're bringing food, and it could be a gun. Dash knows where you live. They're letting, they're bringing some food for you, and I'm going to eat. I hope it's not a bullet. <laughs> but say you do. Say you do order some food very late at night. You know, say you want some Chick-fil-A yeah. closed three, on Sunday. 3 a.m. Chick-fil-A. 3 a.m. Chick-fil-A. <laughs> you, want, you want a spicy chicken sandwich with some pepper jack cheese and mayo, hold the pickles. Some sauce. Get that Chick-fil-A sauce. One tub of Chick-fil-A sauce is all you need for that, Sammy. It's all they're allowing Tell you what, right that now. is There's honestly one of the most shortage. delicious things you could ever eat. Fuck the fries. No one cares about the fries. All I need is that spicy chicken sandwich with the pepper jack. Anyways, you get a text. Okay. Usually it's like, hello, this is DoorDash connecting you with your driver. And then the driver's like, hey, I, you know, I just picked up the food. I'm on the way. But it doesn't say I'm on the way. What does it say? It says perhaps the most alarming, intimidating, scary, terrifying thing possible. What does it say? Hello, I am Maria. I am here. <laughs> hello, I am. <laughs> hello, I am Maria. I am. Maybe, I mean, I mean, if it's Chick Fil A, right? It's so confident. Think... There's no doubt in her mind that she is Maria, she's, she's and Maria, she is man. in that's, fact where she that's believes fucking she is. Maria. Tell you one thing, she's that's fucking Maria right there. I'll tell you one thing. I think you get a first person POV of the guy just holding the burger in his hand out. <laughs> Like low to the ground, like as with if no, a dog. With no wrapper? With no wrapper. And you just get the text, your pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess I guess this is a fun little thing we can think about. Um, <laughs> maybe, maybe just like I am here and it's a photo of the back of your head. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hello, I am Maria. <laughs> I am here. <laughs> Photo of like Just the back of your head, butter. like you can uh, faintly make out that your your shoulder blade like threw a crack in your closet. Uh, like, yeah. <laughs> it's like a little thing of light. 
or maybe <clears> just like burger maybe behind just, you. <laughs> just slowly releasing photos over time of different aspects of the meal that you ordered in like in like places that you you remember faintly from your childhood that they create some sort oh. of deja vu, but you don't know. <laughs> it's like it's like oh. Oh my God, that's my grandparents' old house when I've only been there twice when I was like five. And they're there. And then after that, you get a single text. <laughs> they were out of plastic straws. <laughs> no! no! That's right. It's pulled Would a down. paper I one suffice? Schlatt just breaks down. Here's, and you start, here's and what you start texting back, but you see they're already halfway to their to your house. <laughs> what does that mean? Did they pick one up? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It could be multiple in the back. <laughs> exactly. Out of plastic straws, I will fix this. <laughs> I will here's what fix I think this. would be the most intimidating thing. The most intimidating text received from your dasher at three in the morning. I am coming. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Have you gotten? No, you haven't. But... That would be fun. <laughs> who would send that? <laughs> um, someone who probably doesn't way. have a full understanding of the English language, probably. I would, I would <laughs> On my way, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they thought it was like something like similar to like, thank you, but it was like, I'm yeah. on my way, thank you, but instead on my way, good luck. <laughs> what do I need the luck for, man? What are you going to do? That what reminds, are you going to do to me once you get here? That reminds me of um, the... Uh, me and the GF, we, we ordered it in, in Uber recently, and it was like... Um, it was very similar vibes of like, I am here, good luck kind of situation. Cause this guy was absolutely <laughs> fucking bombing it down every street in LA. Like whenever there was uh -oh. this, like a fucking red light, he'd, he'd slam on it. And then when it was like green light, it was, it was like fucking fast and furious. He was, he would literally, and I kid you not, I could hear him putting the foot down like all the way, mm. I could hear the pedal hitting the floor every single time he would. He the light would turn green. He was literally flooring it. It was probably the most shocking Uber that I've ever been a part of. But I still Dude, give him Ubers five stars though. Crazy because Uber. I feel like if you ever give someone not five stars, then you totally fuck over their like their yeah. shit. Yeah, right. I don't know. Um, what would you What would you do? If you saw a DoorDash, you place an order, it's like a place is 30 minutes away, and you give the guy a call, and you just hear him running. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear feet on the pavement. <laughs> <laughs> just like oh. the breeze breathing the phone. <laughs> <He's just laughs> That's like a He's bad... He's breathing all heavy. That's like, like a like bad like dream. He's like screeching in the background. <laughs> Have you guys ever received like a DoorDash from a? <laughs> I actually, I actually, it's funny you, you say check that. Check the map, and it's just going. <laughs> it's, 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 just car. Going <laughs> it's going fast. <laughs> oh, dude, you call him because you're worried. Oh, you call him because you're worried he's speeding. You just hear. <laughs> it's funny you say that because I actually ordered a, a Postmates oh. once. Or it may have, actually it may have been a DoorDash, um, and it said that they were on a bike, um, and I guess this restaurant that I ordered from must have been like a mile away. But when the DoorDash came, it was like I look outside and it was like it was like a mom and her kid, and they had basically like walked to the restaurant and then walked all the way to my place to like oh hand God. it to me, and I felt so fucking bad. Because I was like, oh, my God, here's a mom who's got to, like, walk with their kid. Like, that's how they're, they're trying to just make some extra with money. With their kid? Yeah, they were with their, their, their kid. Oh, and, they were just, no. and they're like, kid gave me the fucking DoorDash. And I was no. like, uh, I guess oh, I'll no. tip more. Dude, I, yeah. I, I tipped him, like, 30%. Like, I was that's like, good. I was like, that's holy nice. shit. Um but, a SpongeBob popsicle. But okay. in that regard, I mean, if there was someone who was like just going around doing running, because sometimes I would get Postmates. I haven't ordered Postmates in a while because it was making me fat. But um, the uh, sometimes they'll come on on a on like a bike or something like that, and <laughs> sometimes the meal is just totally messed up because it's on a <laughs> fucking bike. And the dude's like drive. He's like running over the fucking bumps and shit. I don't know what it is about being on a bike, but it. It makes it, it fucks it up pretty bad. Hey, I ordered it a pizza, not a calzone. 
<laughs> yeah. It's like a meatball. I ordered a pizza, not a Papa John's Papadilla. I have hey, a solution. I have a solution to the... Uh, Oh, by the way, I'm yawning right now. It's fucking 9.30 in the morning, or it's just 10, it's 10 a.m. right now for me. We I are doing this podcast. I record early. We're doing this podcast early, s- early. S- 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 super early. Exactly. Because I, I've got things Functioning human beings to do here today. at the Chuckle Sandwich Podcast. Uh, oh, this is we're actually... We're figuring out how to live. Hey, hey, not to be mm. self-celebratory, but this is the first podcast in which we are all over a million subscribers. Let's go. That's pretty oh. good. Thank you. Thank you for the congratulations I caused. Um, But but beyond that, I mean, this is um, sort of an idea I have. Um, If we are so worried about the turtles with the straws. I'm not worried about them. Me, well, but if we are, I, actually, I, like oh, I okay, said it again. Okay, hey, hey, I hey, said it once. Hey, I'll say hey, it again, Ted. Hey, I, heel. Make the kill straws. Not, turtle. Make the straws kill out of turtle, turtle shell. Turtle. Kill them. Hmm. Turtle shell straws kills all then. the turtles. Don't need to worry about what happens to the turtles because the straws are made out of turtles. Then you can wash them, and they're reusable. Reusable straws made out of turtles. Get the turtles out of the picture. Get the eco-friendly people on our side. Just let them forget about the turtles. Give them a couple months. They'll cry it out. You receive... I got a way to get all the eco-friendly people on our side. We so we kill the all the turtles, and we raft. turn them... <laughs> well, I mean, here's the thing. I mean, eco-friendly people, they don't really care about the environment. They just no. want to be trendy. I've seen a million and a half fucking eco-friendly people in Los Angeles. I mean, you walk down the street, it's a fucking vegan restaurant with someone wearing Birkenstocks and wearing a fucking giant hat with a fucking those big floppy hats and shit, and they're wearing their leather frilly jackets and they're talking about fucking obama so like yeah (laughs) yeah so if you give them oh it's like here's a this is this is you know how we'll market it we'll say these are straws that are made from the shells of turtles that were once poached long ago but they were reclaimed Mm. and Mm. now we have these straws that are made to remember the turtles Right? It's like reclaim wood. It's you know, it's people make furniture out of old reclaimed wood. Reclaimed We're environmental gonna... activism. In a similar way, we could make straws out of ivory. Exactly. See, I was just gonna say that <laughs> Ted Uh-oh. Ted claims the turtles. We claim the and ivory. He, we pretend Ted forgets about them, and then I see all the turtles, and I'm like, I'm now reclaiming these. Yeah, these are old turtles. Mm, these are all old it's like, turtles. It's like those TikToks from Brad Easy, where he's just like this, and he's like, "You receive good straws. I receive the turtles. The turtles, all of them." And then, and all you may them. be asking yourself, Charlie, because you seem a little bit unconvinced. I'm gonna be honest with you, and I'll tell you what. I'm just the whole pitch man okay when people are obviously going to be like where are the turtles where did they go please right. tell us where the fuck these turtles are you said that you made all these str- you got these straws you reclaimed the turtles we just peddle the concept of the hollow earth all right we turn that i thought into- you were about to say the hollow cost <laughs> no no the turtle the turtle that's version fucked. that's the just turtle fucked. version <laughs> No, no, the turtle holocaust. <laughs> a holocaust of turtles? No, the hollow Forget. earth. Have you ever heard of the hollow earth, Schlatt? Yeah, it's the Godzilla shit. Does it not? Does it, not it is the Godzilla shit, but it's topic, also... If your topic can segue directly into the holocaust, it might be wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, thankfully, that's, thankfully for that, my, it doesn't. That, and, and that's my counterpoint on the chuckle sandwich. It's, it's it's okay. It's not even hollow though. It's hollow. It's a different word. It's not a. No, it's Microsoft. Say, yeah, you, you make me so things. mad say sometimes. What you what you, you make me say. so freaking mad sometimes. Okay, I'm talking hollow earth. All right, the wor- the world, from Charlie, Godzilla. and from and from I'm Godzilla. I you know I might need to break this down Barney the style because it doesn't seem like you King completely Kong understand. The earth is right. not solid. Right. Inside of the earth is a bunch of 
space, all right? A bunch of area in which there's dinosaurs down there. There's okay. gorillas, big gorillas, wow. very Pat, big gorillas how, that carry that? axes, and they're like, they're smarter than normal gorillas, this and they're huge. Why would um, they go down there? And there's pterodactyls down there. All the dinosaurs that we thought were gone, they're in that they're hollow like, earth. And that's when, and, and, it's and you know. dark. Do they just scream all day? So, and... okay, uh, yeah. Ah! It's a lot of, it's a very screamy place. Uh, but, Why don't we hear it? So you're wondering where, you know, the fucking turtles went. We tell them, okay, this is going to be a tough pill to swallow, everyone. Uh -huh. But hollow earth is real, and that's where the turtles are. Okay, and then people aren't going to question us anymore. There. Take me there. I can't. How do I get there? Why? Only turtles can go there. <laughs> also, <laughs> I also raised this. I also completely. Place right now. I raised this completely flawless strategy. Yeah. Who the fuck's going to notice if the turtles are gone? I what, like five I people? Hey, like I five people? I want a strawless strategy. There can't be more than five people to give a shit about turtles. No right? one. Come on. First of all, no one gives a shit about turtles. I was watching and if turtles they do, yesterday. I was in a, I was if they a do, they're lying. And you're a virtue signaling sack of shit, Charlie. Because you like turtles? Two. I mean, it's just an animal I enjoy. Two. I think they're funny. I'll, listen, I'll get Ted over there. He'll knock your kneecaps in with a fucking Easton CF5 DeMarini baseball bat. I'll do the classic. Composite. I'll do my that classic. It's called. Language. I'll do my classic. It's called the knee breaker, okay? Mm. But also, who the fuck sees turtles? What Nobody that? sees who turtles. Who the fuck sees turtles in the wild? Sure, keep them in zoos and shit. But who the fuck? Who the fuck's seeing them in real life? Exactly. And they're here's real, the thing. What are you going the ocean? What are you going in the ocean? Real, real going the ocean? More turtles than just sea turtles. Are they, okay, in the ocean. but Charlie, who who like what determines if an animal is real? I think that we've kind of made a decision <laughs> that <laughs> like. <laughs> I, I think we've made a decision as a podcast, as a group, as a collection of friends, one might say, that uh, turtles are not real and that we <laughs> can turn them, <laughs> and that we can turn and that we can turn their shells into straws. Okay? Now now don't get me wrong, Charles. Tortoises completely different story all right we're not gonna go in and start making we're not gonna go in and start making straws out of fucking 250 year old what, what, galapagos what, what, tortoises all right we love I love tortoises. no we love the galapagos what? tortoises don't chuckle sandwich i want to put out an official statement chuckle sandwich loves tortoises we love tortoises give love us all them. the tortoises show us to them maybe we can have a tortoise party when we're having chuckle week that would be awesome show us but if you show, show us to me, the tortoises, that's what I always say. Show me, show me to them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> show me to the tortoises. <laughs> no. But and another <laughs> saying that I know very, very well, Schlatt, though, is that if, as my grandfather always said, mm. you know, yeah. you show me a turtle, I show you a gun, oh. and I shoot the turtle what with the do? gun. He was a turtle killer. So my grandfather fought in the Pacific Theater in World War II. Um, and one of the things that they noticed was that... <laughs> and one of the things that they noticed is that the turtles were not normally... Tur tur in this instance, they were not turtles. <laughs> because... <laughs> talking about no concept like where reality ends anymore the here. japanese it's were just, using just, turtles no, as no, torpedoes okay. now we've gone past definitely the japanese point. were using tortoise turtles nope. not tortoises nope. as torpedoes and so torpedoes it, 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 exactly torpedoes it made sense for the u.s government to be like okay we got to get these turtles out of here all right and mm -hmm. and so my grandfather was part of the of the of the oh, the the T zero oh. squad, which stands for if it would make sense, turtles yeah. zero. We want zero turtles. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, so that was his thing. I mean, it's part of the Nivison legacy. We kill turtles. That's what we do. That's what we do. Okay, so. Hang like on. I'm gonna get my um. I don't know what I'm to tell you, my, Charles. Just to say I don't know what to tell you. An earlier thing we talked about. I'll get my beloved stuffed animal on the podcast and see what he has to say about maybe this particular topic. Did he just walk into a closet? 
That do that door is far too slim to not be a closet. Oh, happy pride. No. No, don't you fucking dare. I saw that. What are you hey, bringing snappy. out? Hey, Snappy, my beloved stuffed animal from my childhood. My favorite animal, my favorite creature. What do you think about all this discussion about ending the turtles? Kill that thing. Kill that I will fucking, fucking murder thing. that thing. You know what that thing is? I will strangle it. Hey, Schlant, you know what that thing is not? What? Favorite puppy. Favorite puppy. No, Least favorite puppy. This is favorite, no, this is favorite puppy. He's Least favorite least puppy. Favorite is, puppy. Is turtles. Favorite puppy right turtles. Now. Least favorite puppy. This is favorite puppy. Tortoises. Favorite puppy. No. That's Show not. me to the tortoises. What is Show the, me to what them. Is, tell, what is the difference between a turtle and a tortoise? Uh, a turtle. Swims. Tortoise are land. Are land rearing critters. Turtles oh, are water swimming bastards. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm with you guys. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay, you swayed me. Oh, man. Oh, give me some straws. That's the last one. I'm <laughs> into the sea, man. I I'm mean, come on, think fingers, about it, though. Putting them between I... my fingers like Wolverine and okay. vaporizing these assholes. Fuck them. <laughs> Screw them. I mean, think about this. For instance, in my glasses. What's that? Turtle shell. Oh. Tortoise, actually. No. Uh oh, I thought you might say that, uh -oh. but you're wrong. Turtle shell. Oh, you got, oh, you got you know the custom it. one. I got a custom. You, know you got know the it. you got the secret menu item. I got the secret menu item. It's sort of like uh, uh, an in and out <laughs> you when you ask go for turtle instead. <laughs> well, new prescription extra sauce. <laughs> I mean, wait. So that's actually funny though, Schlad. When you when you guys come to L. A., I actually should, could really show you this. This is somewhere that I usually go almost every week. Um, I, I often go to like Crazy Dave's Turtle Emporium, and I, that's where I get all of my like turtle goods. Crazy okay. Dave's Turtle Emporium. Have you never heard of this before? I mean, turtle goods. Turtle goods. I don't know. Like, fuck it. I don't know. Like, like scoot. <laughs> uh, no, like, like, uh, like. Did you just look it up, or Charlie? What? No. <laughs> um, there, it's, Isn't I mean, there's Crazy like, Dave, the dude from Plants vs. Zombies that goes ah, blah, 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 blah. No, no, this is a different Crazy Dave um, Crazy Dave's Turtle Important They one. sell a bunch of like turtle related products I mean, you've got like um, the turtle shells You can shave that and you can grind it up and turn it into like a paste And it looks, it's very good for the skin um, mm. There's sort of Sometimes they I think skin. we've had that sponsor on the podcast before. Sometimes, yeah. yeah. Sometimes we... Is this, by the way, this podcast is sponsored by Crazy Dave's Turtle Emporium. Um, as sometimes they skin the uh, turtles, and that skin is really, really good as sort of an exfoliating surface. So it's often used by, like, Sephora and Ulta Beauty as sort of a mm. uh, exfoliating is, skin is, thing. Is, Fenty is, Beauty, Rihanna's... Beauty line. They they use turtles all the Ariana, time. Ariana making. Ariana was famously uh, quoted as saying, "I use turtles on my skin." Yeah, yeah. No, that literally. I like, want it. Like, I got start it. The, I want it. I got it. Start of that's turtle. Grande, start turtle. Of, I kill it. <laughs> start of the quote. I like turtles in my beauty products. End quote. <laughs> Charlie, you look uh, you look a bit disheveled. Thank you. Next. Turtle to use on my skin. <laughs> I, dude, th listen, listen. I'll be straight with you guys. Turtles have, and I think, I just have been historically and will be. They are my favorite animals. I love turtles. So it's oh, you know, turtles are your favorite? Yeah, and you know, no, no, you know, no shame to Ariana. Um, but it I sounds just, like you are about to make some shame towards Ariana. I just don't think that Ariana Grande. Singer songwriter Ariana Grande should be doing what she's doing right now, you know, using these turtles on her skin. And uh, guys, I, I'm not trying to make hot takes on the chuckle sandwich. I know we you don't are like making hot takes spicy. though, and you and you don't even like. I'm just saying. I know. Like, we're have, have some Ariana respect. On. I know we're no, gonna have her on. No, but, I but like, I'm texting her Charlie. right now. I'm no, but like Charlie, right dead ass. Like, have some respect for my family bye bye. lineage when you talk about turtles in this way. Okay. Bye, bye Ariana. Remember what they did. Remember what they Ted. did to me. What did they do to you, man? They got launched high speed. They fought against the United States in the war yesterday, of all days, was the I, 4th of July. I the wish day to celebrate. That day one. 
Did you not see the I'm four? A turtle, ki- the, I'm a turtle apologist. I'm a turtle apologist. Did you not I'll see the it. four kid? Did you not see Knuckles from Sonic the Hedgehog singing the the what na- the, the fucking hell are you talking about? The the fucking <laughs> four kids. The four kids. Uh, <laughs> national Knuckles. anthem. Song. You didn't see Knuckles. Dude, I'm so you didn't excited see, for you Knuckle see Weed. Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> you see Michelangelo. You see Michelangelo. We're all gonna paint ourselves red and get really big gloves and run around LA for an entire week. <laughs> <laughs> I think that we should do a uh, a special on the podcast, a special uh, one time video where we go turtle hunting. No, no, we're not, big gonna, spears. We're, not With gonna, big spears. we're not gonna say, hey guys, choc- this is chocolate sandwich. Welcome to poaching live. What the fuck <laughs> are you on about? In in Irvine, in Irvine, oh. California, they have um they have uh <laughs> they have it's called um Turtle C. Turtle and then C, like one word. Like um, a place or like a crime? Well, no, it's called Turtle C, like turtle and then the word C. And but it's like one word together, and it's basically right. a place where you can go, and it's like a little lake area, and they give you a boat and like a bunch of guns, and you just go out there, and you they give you as much ammo as you want. I mean, it that's comes not in, true. It comes I don't in, know. I don't. What are you talking about? Yes, it, of course this is true, and it comes in like this packages. Is, no, it, this is a lie. It's first not of a all, lie. there's an ammo shortage. They wouldn't give you all the ammo you could ask for. Well, that, second no, of all, okay. you're talking you, about you're talking about. California, this is a thing in. Well, I mean, obviously, it's get hunting. the hell, get the what the who the how the Schlack. fuck who the fuck do you, do you think, think this you're is talking a th- to? Hey, okay, buddy, okay, buddy. Let me okay, break this buddy. down, you're Barney. Talking stuff. To the man who you're not even letting me. You're not even letting me explain. I fixed any crack, motherfucker. You're not even letting me explain. You're not even letting me explain. Australia, we're cracking. Podcast okay, podcast. you're not even letting me explain. Okay, it's it's called Turtle Sea. All right, they give you a boat. When I say all the ammo you could possibly need, I'm talking about in California, it's absolutely legal to have hunting rifles. And they give you hunting rifles, and there's different package deals that go with that. But also there's specific bylaws that apply to stuff such as range rifles that aren't normally available to the general public. But the California government licenses out these licenses to give it to uh, companies that want to do turtle hunting. Okay? You fucking dumbass. Bullshit. It's not bullshit. bullshit. It's fucking true. I'm Look like it Charlie up. Charlie now. Do your, do your own research. Do I your own turtles. fucking research. Turtles are favorite turtles puppy. Are great. Turtles are favorite puppy. Do your own fucking research, dude. I mean, come on. We're turning turtles into straws, and we're hunting them at turtle sea. Are you going to put the straws away, Schlatt? Are you going to put them away? Schlatt, you I'm do still, realize... I'm still going to be drinking out of plastic straws. Exactly. You see, see, fuck the turtles. As much huh? as I love the turtles. Oh, no. As much you as I love the, love the turtles. You don't love the turtles. You spent this whole podcast going against the turtles. I love turtles. I my, love turtles. You said my turtle was least favorite puppy. Is what you I, said. Listen, that was just a, a, a white lie. Your well, you least are favorite white. turtle. <laughs> what? That was that offensive. Yeah. As much as I love turtles. <laughs> Listen, man, as much as I love turtles, and you know how much I love turtles. Yeah, I know. You know how much I love turtles? As much as I love turtles. I'm so sorry, really. <laughs> you're flying to me. I'm a businessman. <laughs> as much as I love turtles, I will fucking strangle every single goddamn one before I suck more pulp out of a fucking paper straw. Paper is for Yay! printing shit on it. I will not. Be sucking shit out of goddamn A L A A letterhead. Jeff, give me strength, Jeffrey Bezos. Congratulations, Jeffrey Bezos. Congrats, Jeff. Jeff. Give me strength. We love you. Jeff. Very proud of you, Jeff. Jeffrey Bezos. You've done, you've done great. You've done great. You want to hear something that I just uh, realized as I yelled woo really loudly? What? Yeah. It's fucking 1030 in the morning, and I've got neighbors. Ted. Yeah, oh, that's true. Anywhere else but L.A., I'd be like, oh, no, it's fine. They're going to be out at their jobs. Well, but people in L.A. don't have holiday. jobs. It's a holiday. Los Angeles is the only place where you can go out at any time of the day and the streets will be cluttered by people who are walking around taking Instagram photos because no one has jobs in Los Angeles. You're going to see what? for yourself next week during Chuckle Week. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Maybe we'll do some interviews out in the street. 
Would you want to do that? We'll do Would you want to do that like as a section in the, in the in in between the episodes? Yeah, I think that we <laughs> could we could interviews. do that. We could do that. We nightmare. could do we could do a thing where it's like each guest we bring on, we do a a figuring out how much people care about that guest. So and mm. we show them a video of like we surveyed the Los Angeles public to see how much people care about you and how famous you are. And then we just choose all the people that don't know and take them down a peg in terms of ego. Every Probably time. going to be most of them. <laughs> yeah. Um, Many millions of people you in hear, Los Angeles. You want to hear? So, uh, <laughs> so speak, before speaking every of, episode, we just have a who? Super cut? <laughs> <laughs> I have something funny to tell you after the podcast. I can't. I'm going to mention this when we bring him on, but I have something funny to tell you about one of the guests that we have planned, guys, that uh, happened. But, uh, you know, I mean. For, are we having Darkaplier on? Darkaplier? <laughs> I wish. I wish we could, but actually, <laughs> actually, that. Dark. I, I want dr- dark apply. I can't dark say ap- that fucking word. I was drinking as I said it. I just fucking threw up everywhere. Oh, dark apply. Dark apply. I can't believe I committed so much to just. Uh, oh God. You know. Oh God. Believing that uh, Charlie could ever have the gall to um, kill a think, turtle. Do you think? Do you think Dead Nivison could beat Dark Applier? <laughs> Dead Nivison? Is that is <laughs> yeah. that my? Uh, I feel like we her. talked about this on the podcast before. It just stays funny to me. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Oh god, that's awesome. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, fuck turtles. Oh, yeah, don't, screw the turtles. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Screw the turtles. I mean, don't Hollow turtles. Earth is real. We're turning them into straws. That's how we're going to. <laughs> we should. Um, we should. They should have stayed a rule are, to improve. <laughs> you know what we should do, Schlatt? That gave me an idea. We oh, train dude. monkeys to hunt turtles. <laughs> no. We give them. Give, give them. Have you ever seen that video of the monkey with the AK-47, the chimpanzee? Give yes. Them, give that it. was from uh, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. That was a movie. I know. Good, but it, but I, I want that to real. be. Excellent I want that to be real, though. I want that to be real. We can make it real. Yeah, I think that that would be a really, really good thing. Um, if I just see a squad of chimpanzees on horses uh, chasing down. Turtles, as if they even needed the horses, because turtles are so fucking slow. Those dumbasses. And, and in the ocean, so. Yeah, it's chimpanzees, scuba, scuba <laughs> chimpanzees scuba. with fucking underwater harpoon guns hunting down <laughs> turtles. You see the the fucking uh, <laughs> the fucking like Australian fucking surfer dude turtle from Finding Nemo like in mm. fear as there's like a bunch of fucking chimpan underwater scuba yeah, great. Navy you seal menaces. you guys are fucking menaces I absolutely I absolutely despise yeah, this yeah yeah um, but uh, yeah, I mean, well, we're we're pretty we'll much see at each the, other next week, guys. Yeah, we'll see so each other. We'll next have a week. lot more time to talk about this whole turtle debate. Uh, I definitely like bring to talk it up with more. every single guest. Um, or maybe, I think that maybe we, we should. I think that we should. I think that that would be a really fun sort of consistent question to ask. Oh, is like, hey, so turtles, straws, bit of an issue, right? But we don't like paper oh. straws, so riddle me this: get these turtles. Turn them into straws. Yeah. No more turtles. Where'd they go? Hollow Earth. Easy. The narrative is perfect. I think they should do a quality of life improvement for DoorDash. So if you don't come out and get your food in uh, under five minutes, they can just start eating it on your front porch. <laughs> it's like it, it, if if the teacher isn't here in 15 you to, minutes you you're legally them, allowed to leave you have to yeah them oh my god why go why did it. like there's always one there was always one kid in in like legally allowed like as if there was like you could take a teacher to court for for showing up 16 minutes later and being like no 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 yeah. <laughs> oh hello i am maria you have five minutes <laughs> <laughs> you have five minutes or I, you have five minutes. I have your daughter. You I have five minutes. Had a daughter. My pleasure. My pleasure. My pleasure. <laughs> My pleasure. Good luck. 
All right, well, you have five you. minutes before the Chick fil A sauce reaches her nostrils and she can no longer <laughs> breathe. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for listening to this episode of the Chuckle Sandwich Podcast, episode something. Don't know, remember the number. I think it's 21. 21. Uh, we'll see you next anyway. week. We'll probably be in LA all together when next time you see us. Chuckle Week, baby. Hashtag Chuckle Week. Hashtag Bye. Turtles Will Die. All right, peace.